So the first myth is you must completely give up on alcohol when trying to conceive. My question here is you've written that occasional alcohol in pregnancy isn't as risky as many believe. However, what does the data say about drinking during the two week wait or while trying to conceive? So drinking during the two week wait is a little bit of an all or nothing thing. So if you drink a lot, sort of binge drinking, very heavy alcohol consumption during that period, that can interfere with your chance to conceive because if you drink a lot at the wrong time, it can actually cause an embryo, a fertilized egg to not develop. However, drinking smaller amounts doesn't have that impact. And with the timing there, it would not have an impact on the fetus ultimately. So I, what I would tell people is if you want to have a glass of wine, a couple glasses of wine during that two week wait, there's really no evidence to suggest that it would be problematic for conception. This isn't a good time for you know seven drinks at a time, although there's almost never a good time for seven drinks at a time. <laughs> That's right. Maybe on your 21st birthday and you might regret it for the rest of your life. Yeah. Yes, I mean, that will be the only time. If you do yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's so much shame that goes into being a fertility patient. You know, we shame ourselves and we think that somehow we did something that caused us not to get pregnant. The first thing people think is like, maybe it's something I ate or something I drank. And it's almost never that. 